These are five of the most common design patterns that every UI and UX designer should be using in your work right now. All right, we're gonna dive right in and start talking about these common design patterns for UI and UX designers. And we can't start talking about design patterns without talking about the classic, the well-used, the super dependable accordion menu. That's right, the accordion menu has been around since the dawn of time, not really. Accordion menus allow users to expand and collapse sections of content very easily. They help users navigate material really quickly and they allow for large amounts of information in a limited space. And so here we have an example of maybe like an accordion inside of a design tool of some sort where you can twirl open and closed using uh, just this little arrow right here or maybe even clicking on the entire panel would then expand that information. And one more example to really drive the point home, you've seen these a lot, FAQs or maybe sections that have categorized content inside of them, being able to click them and open and close. Next up, you have the good old drop down menu. That's right, the drop down menu has been working for us for a real long time and working really, really hard. Drop down menus allow users to select items from a list of items, and you do that on hover, on rollover, on tap, depends on what type of interaction you want, but you have to use drop downs carefully. If there's too few options inside, feels a little weird. If there's too many, then it starts feeling like this endless kind of selection um, drop downs can really be abused so use them sparingly here's a great example of a drop down let's zoom in on it definitely great for um, autofill or suggestions inside of search boxes here's one more super common use case for a drop down would be uh, inside of some sort of web application um, icon when you roll over or click on it for notifications maybe profile information being able to drop down a list of options they're really really useful but again be careful how you use them that is number two the drop down let's talk next about the super versatile card pattern that's right cards are used in just about every application i can think of off the top of my head cards can contain any type of information they can have images and text headlines buttons graphs you name it anything can go inside of a card here's a great example of some card design with similar styles for the cards different types of content inside here's another great example you've seen this you know, pretty common, but these are kind of outset information. By clicking on that card, you might get deeper into that specific information. And here's another example of how cards could be used, maybe a little bit more simple, a little bit more modern, something like on a website. You can drop your value propositions into a card style format that kind of highlights that information. Pattern number four is very useful when you're trying not to get lost inside of a complex network of content, screens, and pages, and that's the handy dandy breadcrumb. Breadcrumbs are trails of links uh, that allow users to figure out where they are within a website or application. They're often located at the top of a site or an application. Breadcrumbs allow users to see their current location and their previous selections on how they've gotten from A to Z. They can see the entire alphabet in between. Here's a great example of some breadcrumbs, again, usually found at the top left, top right of uh, a lot of websites and web applications, clicking into a parent kind of link into the children, so on and so forth, and being able to navigate backwards if you need to. Here's another great example on kind of like a web application where you have your main menu and your drop down here. Remember we talked about drop downs. We didn't talk about fly out menus, but that's there as well. But then next to that, we have kind of internal links. So maybe we are on home and within, or we're on engagement and within engagement, we have other options like sequences and then sequence name, right? So we have kind of stepping stones to where we currently are. Our last one on the list today is the super useful hamburger or hamburger menu. I think designers like to name their patterns after food because we like food and we like design. Just as the name suggests, it looks like two buns and a patty. It usually has three lines of some sort and it's usually found in the top corner of a website or an application. And when you tap that, click that, use that, you're probably pulling out some sort of drawer, a menu, an overlay, some sort of menu that you can interact with 
That's the hamburger menu. It's meant to explore more things beyond the lines or the confines of the screen. Here's a great example of a hamburger menu. You can see the user is clicking the hamburger and it's rolling out some sort of menu. And usually that hamburger will transform on hover. And then when you click it, a lot of times you get some sort of animation where the hamburger becomes the close, the X to close. Here's another great example um, of doing that same thing, right? Actually clicking, turning into an X to close and just sliding out that menu Oh, so nice. We've seen this pattern over and over. Well, those are five common UI design patterns. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification icon so you know when the next video in this series comes out. I do lots of videos about design, development, UI design, and UX design, so maybe stick around. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things, and using tried and true techniques to bring your designs to life. We'll see you in the next one.